Welcome back, you beautiful people. Pedals, one of the three contact points on your bike. So it's important to find the correct pedal that will suit your riding, be it if it's flat pedals or clipless pedals. Now, when it comes to installing a new pedal, or even to remove and to install a different pedal, this is how you do that. Let's talk thread pattern when it comes to pedals because they're a little bit different. Now, most nuts and bolts and fasteners on bikes are righty-tighty and lefty-loosey. So basically left, you're loosening it, right, you're tightening it. Now, when it comes to the pedals on a drive side or the right-hand side of your bike, the pedal is gonna tighten right down. So right is tight. But on the other side of the bike, the left-hand side, the thread pattern is totally different. It's a left-hand thread. So when you're loosening off a normal bolt on your bike, you're basically tightening the pedal. So you're going left-hand down. So you're still going towards the front of the bike, but you're tightening the pedal. One thing that's very important there is you don't mix up your left-hand pedal with your right-hand side of the bike or your right pedal to the left-hand side of the bike. Because if you start to put a left-handed pedal into the right-hand side of your bike, you're gonna thread out those threads inside your crank arm, and that's a big mistake. Now, how do you find out what pedal goes on what side of the bike? I'm on the right-hand side of the bike and uh, there's a, most pedals, or some of the pedals, have this chamfered edge right on the front and it always faces down. Why? Only because when you hit something out there on the trail, it can deflect over it, it can kind of skid off of it. And also, some of the pedals will have an R on there to indicate that is a right-hand pedal and an L for a left-hand pedal. But here's a better example, a more pronounced chamfer to a pedal. As you can see on these flat pedals right here, you've got this edge which kind of indicates that it is going to be a right-hand side pedal, whereas if it was this way over there, you know you've got the wrong side. In the cycling world, there's two different types of pedals. You've got the clipless pedals and you've got the flat pedals. Now with the clipless pedals, that offers a lot better power transfer through the bike. It's, it tends to be a little bit lighter and it adds a little bit more security. Why? Because the combination with the shoe with the cleat in it, clipping into that pedal, just gives you that little bit more security when you're riding a rougher stuff. Now with the flat pedals, this is basically, you can ride with any type of shoe, but more commonly with a mountain bike shoe with a different compound of rubber that will dig into those pins on the pedal to give you a lot more security when riding rough stuff. The flat pedal is perfect for the beginners or for those riders that like to have a, a quick dab when you're out on the trail. Each pedal may have a 15 mil pedal wrench to remove or tighten the pedal or even a six or an eight mil Allen key to loosen or tighten as well, but how do you remove set pedal? Here we go. Okay, before we get into removing our pedals off our bike, here is the three different ways that you can remove or tighten your pedals. Now we've got the six mil Allen key, that'll go there. And we've got the eight mil Allen key that is built into the pedal at the back. Now, if you don't have any of these combinations on your pedals, then you probably have the most common one, which is the 15 mil pedal spanner, which will go on the flat edges of your pedal that is between your crank arm and the pedal itself on the axle. Like I mentioned earlier, both pedals tighten towards the front of the bike. Now we want to loosen the set pedal on my rig. So that is going to the back of the bike. Now, little tip for you, get onto the opposite side of the bike that you want to be removing the pedal. I want to remove the right hand side. So I'm going to get onto the left hand side. Get the preferred tool that you need to uh, remove your pedal, which mine is the 8mm. I'm going to install it into the back of the pedal right there, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up, but you're going to hold the other crank with the other arm, the other hand, and pull up towards you to remove the pedal. So that is going towards the back of the bike. Once you've done that, go all the way out, just like this. Hold the pedal so you don't drop it and ruin the thread on the ground. And you've removed your pedal. Voila. And likewise goes with the left-hand side. Do exactly the same thing to remove the left-hand pedal. Right, before we even install a new pedal or even an older pedal, it's good practice to add a little bit of grease to the threads or some anti-seize compound so it doesn't 
basically seize up in your crank arms if they're gonna be in there for a very long time. Now that you've found the pedal, the right pedal for the right-hand side of the bike, obviously we're on the right, you wanna get as level as possible in the crank arm. Get it into the threads and just spin it gently till it bites. And you'll feel it, it'll just go straight in just like that. But if, okay, if for some reason the pedal is getting a little bit too tight on those threads inside the crank arm, stop because you are going to do some damage and you do not want to do any damage to your crank arms because that's end of your day or end of your ride. You have to fork out a little bit more for some new cranks. That has gone in there very smoothly. Tighten it up just like that and again like I've mentioned, put your spanner or your Allen wrench right there like that and just push down. Voila. Now you can talk this to the correct torque settings that are manufacturers and all that rad jazz. Don't over tighten them because when it comes to removing them again, it'll be an absolute mission. So there we have it, how to install and remove your pedals off your bike, be it if it's a clipless pedal or a flat pedal. Just remember, do not put the wrong pedal in the wrong crank arm because it's devastating. Also, do not over tighten and use a little bit of lubricant just to keep that pedal free when it comes to removing it in the future. Hopefully this has helped you out. I'll see you at the next one. See ya.